going to sit down and talk with local author Roderick Schmidt, who added flesh to a popular legend with his book Agnes of Harris Grade. Later we'll take a ride on Harris Grade Road to see if we can sit down with Agnes herself. First off, I had known about Agnes since 1969 when we first moved here. Okay. It's one of the first stories you hear that kids are telling me all about. Have you been up Harris Grade? Well, yes, but I've been up there at night. Well, no. <laughs> well, you have to go up there at night. And we'll take you up there, we'll sit up there with you, and we'll wait for her to show up. And um, that was just kind of the raining story. And, you know, and I heard it and heard it and heard it. And there was even other stories about girls that go up there, and then they come back and, and have a little sleepover party. And they talk to themselves in the mirror to see if they could have Agnes show up in the mirror. Now, I'm just telling you the story. I'm not telling you anything about whether this is real or short. Sure. There are many stories related to Agnes of Harris Grade, but they all have one common denominator. At the moment Agnes lost her life on Harris Grade Road, she was forever separated from her baby. That she is coming back for whatever reason, I gave her a reason here. She's coming back from Santa Maria and she takes Harris Grade Road. Harris Grade, you know, and comes down and she, she has some sort of trouble with her car. And she gets out of her car and is holding her baby. And another car comes around one of the curves there and hits her. She loses the child and she is killed in the, in the process. Mm -hmm. And um, so she is up there looking for her kid. That's not a very nice, her child, her <laughs> whatever. And um, the story is that she will stop cars coming over Harris Grade and um, say, would you help me find my baby? And that's the story over and over. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that, you know, I, okay, I, A, I, no, I don't drive Harris Grade at night. <laughs> Not because I believe it, but I think because I don't disbelieve it. <laughs> but uh, I was giving a, a book talk about two years ago now um, to the, uh, was in Vandenberg Village Library. And there was about 50 people there, I think. And one of the women in the front row, you know, I was talking about Agnes. I don't even think I said that perhaps anyone ever seen her, but I might have said something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> she raised her hand and she said, I have seen Agnes. And this was a woman who was probably maybe, I'm guessing, 30. I mean, not, not some, you know, kid, not some teenager. Right. Right. And, and so I said, what was she wearing? And she said she was wearing a white blouse and dark skirt. And that's the reigning um, description. Hmm. You know, over and over again, you hear people say that, that, that they've seen her. Right. So she's wearing a white blouse and this dark skirt. Have you seen Agnes? Do you know any local ghost stories? Check out Santa Maria Times or thelompubrecord.com and follow me on Twitter at Logan B. Anderson. Ha, ha, ha.